Okay, the YouTube. I am making a video on this boat because I'm going to sell it. Um, bought it about a month ago. Um, had all the intentions to put this thing on the water, put it in a slip in the marina. Um, everything was going good, and I got a medical diagnosis that uh, was not expecting. So uh, the boat is going up for sale. So not to get too into it, but I have something that I don't need to be out in the heat. And the uh, doctor said it's really wise to not be out on the water and out in the heat. Uh, Sucky time to live in Lake Havasu, I guess. So here we go, back to the boat. It's a 1980... I don't know, I'll look on the back. 88 or 89 Sea Ray 22 footer. Uh, it is a 22, what is that? OV? OV, I think it stands for overnighter. So, quick run around on it. Um, the gel coat's in really, really good shape. It's just a little chalky. Like, if you had the time to buff it or even hand, hand polish it, it would look really, really nice. Um, it's not terrible. I mean, it's, it's definitely usable. So going around real quick, we'll do the trailer first. Very basic. It's a trail right trailer. Um, it's got four tires that hold air. I think the code dates on them are like 2019, 2020, right in there. So you could probably make it through Havasu. Um, if you're gonna go farther than that, you may invest in some new trailer tires. They're 14s. Um, I have the side pieces. I took them off because I had every intention of polishing it and making this thing just shine awesome and shit happens so it's got the side pieces that go right there and they have a piece of wood you know kind of like the guides so when you're putting the boat on the trailer it makes life easy um spare is there it is blown out so your spare is trash um, otherwise thing toes great so there's got the baby moons kind of cool wheels and i don't know if the lights work but i don't know why they wouldn't work so i've actually never checked them so, and I have the Arizona title on the trailer. In Arizona, um, trailers have titles, boats have registrations that are signed. I have both. So all the paperwork is in order on this boat and the trailer is titled and ready to go to a new owner. And the boat is registered and ready to go to a new owner as well through Game and Fish. So with that out of the way, uh, we'll get back to the boat. So running down side this thing does look like it sat in a marina i think it sat in havasu marina for a little bit so um i saw a marina sticker up on it somewhere but i mean it's a 1988 so there's little things here that keel is actually in really good shape on this thing it doesn't look like it was beached much at all so yeah so that's good um you can see a little spot right here that i took some polishing compound and just real quick by hand, polished it out. This doesn't look terrible, but if you had a couple hours to do it, which I don't, that's what it could look like. So, there you go, going around it. I didn't name it, that's what it was named. Bad luck to change the name on a boat. It does have a stainless prop. I have another aluminum prop that comes with it. Um, got your step, folds down, everything like that is normal. So, no damage on this side. I know it's hard to tell because I'm so close over here, but... No damage, the fuel filler is right there. Um, this is your sink drain, and I don't know where the shitter drain is. Maybe it's just a self-contained shitter, because it's got a shitter in there. So, look up top, all the glass is in good shape. It does have the pop hatch that is all in one piece. All your rub rails are there, the windshield wiper works. It's got a big old CB antenna, and I don't know if it works, but there is some kind of CB in there. So it's got a short light, and underneath the cabin, there is a long light. So real quick too, I do have all of the Bimini pieces. They are not attached right now, but here's some odds and ends that come with it. This is one of you, this is either your front Bimini, and there's your back bimini. The stitching came undone, but the material is still in good shape. So if you want it to, you could take it to an upholstery place and they could restitch it. And I have the bimini frames right there is your bimini frames. And that's front and rear, they're made for it. So just didn't get around to that either. You got a pack of life jackets. You got, these are for when you make the um, center area into a sleeping bed on the, um, on the not, not on the inside cabin, but on the outside cabin. So those are your cross supports. You got a flare gun, uh, prop wrench, and some other stuff. Even a tackle box. 
There is the four, four blade prop that also comes with it. Sorry, I'm trying to make it quick so I don't lose people here if I haven't already. So, this thing is tall. So this is a, that's an eight foot ladder. And that, that shows you how tall this boat is. For a 22, it's a very big boat. All right, so I will stand up here as high as I can get and kind of give you a little bird's eye view. So there's your hatch for underneath. That's all sleeping under there. That hatch pops up. Your windshield, all the glass is in good shape. The center portion folds over if you want it to. There's a little clip right there you turn. There's a sink. The sink drains out the side. That's a white gas stove. It does not work. I would imagine it doesn't work. I wouldn't say anybody's going to use it anyways. Um, you got your compass. And there's a little glove box there and all your steering helm and everything. Seats are in pretty good shape. Um, the vinyl is still pretty pliable, if that's the word for it. The only spot that has any concern is on this back deck, and I'll show you, and it's where the, the green is because that obviously got the, the sun absorbed it a little bit more. So there's a top view of the boat. This cushion and this cushion go right here, and those crossbars go right there and right there, so this whole area turns into one big bed. But these right now are just sitting there, um, I can remove them and show you the interior here shortly. Engine is just a five liter Merc Cruiser Chevy. Um, I'll get into that after I do the rest of the boat. And I think that's it for inside, except for hopping in. All right. Okay. Uh, I don't know if the radio works. I've never tried it, but it's got a radio. There's all your gauges. Oh, I will actually move this. And I'm gonna turn on the battery selector switch and show you where we're at with getting this thing running. Just so everybody can see. So when you go to fire it up, I think the batteries are kind of dead right now too, but it just kind of cranks. Crank, 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 crank. All right, so now you've seen that. So that's about the extent that I got it to. Um, I pulled this whole floor apart, all this stuff apart, and I have pictures of it. This is a 59 gallon fuel tank that sits underneath here. I removed the float for the gas gauge, got a pump, and removed oh, 28 gallons of fuel that was three years old, um, according to the guy I bought it from, it sat about three years. Um, so it was completely as dry as I could get it, and I put 18 or 19 gallons of uh, premium, Chevron premium in it. So it has fresh fuel in the fuel tank, and I have a picture of inside the fuel tank. The fuel tank looked great. There was no, no varnish, sediment, anything like that. It was actually really, really clean, no rust or anything like that. So I'll get the engine bay open. Um, it is just a 5-liter Merc Cruiser, nothing fancy. It does have a new marine battery over here, a new marine battery over there, new uh, holders for it. Um, everything is kind of in order. There's, uh, I did put a new, I don't know if you can see it, if I can get down the middle, there it is. I put a new fuel filter on it today, filled it up with fuel, and I still can't get it to run. So... At this point, with everything I've got going on medically, I'm just going to let the thing go. So this is a, I wouldn't call it a mechanic special because it's probably something very simple and stupid, but I just don't have it in me to get this thing going any farther than it is. But you got new batteries, brand new fuel, turns over, um, everything works too, which is pretty cool. So all of your horn works, blower works, uh, except for nav lights, this, this switch is kind of hung up. Probably if the switch worked, it would work. Your wiper, it works. Um, bilge pump, can hear it running. Accessories, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's your fans underneath the, the cabin there. That's all your cabin lights. And I don't know what indirect is. 
So yeah, all that stuff works, which is cool. Um, again, I don't know if the radio works. Maybe that's, I don't know. I'm not gonna mess with it. Um, so you can see the condition of the seats. They're still, they're still soft. This is kind of, the green up top here is kind of hard on this one. Um, this is still soft. Same with this one. This side's the same. These cushions and everything are, are good. They could use like some uh, vinyl sauce or something to kind of condition them. This one and that one are really crusty right here, just in the green portion. So um, if anything is going to need to be replaced as far as interior, it's going to be this strip. And then there's a strip right here. I might as well close this. So everybody's seeing what they need to see in here. So this part right here, and this is that section right here is crispy. But this is still pretty soft, and this is still pretty soft. But you can see, like, this center portion is the problem area. So if it's a deal breaker, tough shit. It's a cheap boat. Throw a towel over it. So um, jump back into this. This is the cabin. There's your sink. Here's your little stove area. The refrigerator does not work. Well, it, it was a, it's not really a refrigerator. It's an ice box. So you put dry ice in it. So I guess it still works if you want to plop a dry ice block in there. So you've got your refrigerator there. All right, going in here to the cabin, you've got the shitter. You remove that cushion, and there is your shitter. It's just like a porter shitter. And I don't know, it looks like, looks like there's a vent tube. I don't know, I think it's just all self-contained. I've never messed with it. I'm sure there's no dookie in it or anything. Get on there, come on. There is a table at one time, this thing in the floor, right there, had a little hole and somebody covered it up. But there's still a table and a pole. So if you wanna get ambitious and cut a hole, you could put a table and a table and a pole right there and have a little area to sit and eat. So there's that, here's your cabin. All the cushions in here are in bitchin' shape. They're actually in really, really nice shape. Obviously, being in a cabin, it's pretty well preserved. Headliner's still perfect. There's the long, long pole light. This thing does have a full piece here and a piece here. And what that is, is when you have your biminis up, you can zip that on, and it's got a full bimini canvas enclosure, which is kind of cool. And that's an anchor bag, and it comes with one of those old school hook anchors, which nobody uses because box anchors are kind of more of a thing now, but it does come with an anchor. So there's your cabin. It's got fans. That little vent opens, you turn those and that thing pops open. So when it gets all hot and sweaty from the sweet, sweet love making, you can vent it out. So here's your window that opens. Pretty basic. All the glass is dirty, but it's in good shape. Pretty straightforward how this works. There you go. And your cabin's closed. All right. It's got a throwable. Um, there's a fire extinguisher up under there. There is two fire extinguishers under there. There's your CB radio breaker breaker good buddy um, microphone. Um, there is your breaker breaker good buddy CB for when you uh, are stuck out somewhere. I don't know if it works. Never tried it. There's your oar when you break down. It's a boat. It could happen. So, all right. That's kind of the rundown on the boat. Let me jump around to the back to get the whole ID number for you and give you the exact year of the thing because I don't remember if it's an 88 or an 89. Let's look. 89. There it is. If anybody wants to get ambitious and look it up, it's a S-E-R-A 9715J889. Oh shoot, there's 88 and 89. I don't know what year it is. It's either an 88 or an 89, but there's a Mark Cruiser Outdrive, stainless prop. I got the water ears on it. You can have that thing if you want it. So there it is. Pretty cool boat if you're looking for this kind of thing. So it is big though, for a 22 foot boat, it is a big 22 foot boat. 
So I hope that shows you everything you need to see about the boat. Um, it's in Lake Havasu. Um, like I said, paperwork is there on the trailer. Paperwork is there on the boat. Everything is ready to transfer. I only accept cash. I 100% will not take a money wire, bank transfer, electronic, Zelle, nothing like that. You show up with cash or don't show up at all. Like I'm a thousand percent solid on that. So there is no talking me into taking some other form of payment. It will be a cash only sale. If you don't have cash, don't call me. So I hope you saw what you needed. If you need more info, leave it in the comments. I'll make another video and uh, show you what else you need to see. Thanks for watching.